are Division Three, and welcome to our. Today, we're going to be showing you what we've done over the past term and what the core competencies are. We'll also be explaining to you our assessment and achievement level. So sit back and relax and enjoy! <laughs> One of my favorite parts of Division 3 is how everyone's really kind to each other and how Mr. Nickenor pushes us to be better than yesterday. One of the highlights of my year was the ADST pegboards. I liked when we creatively made our pegboards unique and also at the same time tried and tried again until we got them right. One of the highlights of this year was riding the hero's journey task to story because I thought it was really fun and again express my ideas. My favorite part of Revision 3 is the motivation and positive tendency. Before I went into this class I was riding a boat through school. Now I am riding the boat myself. I feel like I made a lot of progress in this class. The core competencies are built to help us become better learners. Instead of memorizing facts and knowledge, they help us develop our skills. What I like about the core competencies is that before you only learn facts, but now you can learn the basic skills you need to be a successful learner. One of the reasons I love the core competencies is because I can see I can connect with them and I can see where I need to work on. Before I would just see like what I need to work on um, facts and factual information, but now I can work on being a better person. Communication allows you to connect and engage with others. This is also to make connections and share your ideas and express your individuality. Communication can help you with your knowledge, skills, and interactions with classmates and teachers. The communication competency can find you satisfaction, purpose, and joy. Some may think you have to be good at public speaking to be good at communication, but it is only a tiny part of it. Communication is the ability to interact your opinions and your thoughts in a very meaningful way. It is also the ability to interact well with your, your peers and your group. The communication core competency has been misunderstood lately. Many believe it's someone who is able to speak very well or has great presentation skills, but that's only a portion of it. The communication core competency is the ability to take information and reflect on it, think about it, and being able to express it and communicate and present it in a way that's very meaningful and can connect with others. Creative thinking is when you take one great idea and separate it into many other great ideas. Um, creative thinking, in my opinion, is like you can take an idea and turn it into multiple ideas. Creative thinking is when you come up with one idea and make that one idea into separate ideas. For example, we use creative thinking in our PE project to figure out what our project is going to be. Creative thinking is when you have one big idea and turn them into many ideas. For example, when you're doing group work and the teacher asks you to have separate ideas, you can take that one big idea and make it your own. The creative thinking competency is not just for artists. This competency has everything to do with taking an idea and being able to process it. You're able to generate ideas, build off of it, and even innovate that one idea so that you have multiple ways of expressing it. So in summary, creative thinking, it's not just for those who think that they're artistic. It's the ability to take one idea, develop it, innovate it, generate more ideas, or even build off of that one idea so that you have a multiple and variety of ways that you can express it. And that is how you become a creative thinker. Critical thinking is being able to turn a lot of ideas into one idea. Critical thinking is also that figuring out problems and learning how to solve them before they happen. Generating critical thinking is to solve problems. The critical thinking competency allows a student to take many sources of information, process it, analyze it, investigate, and question it. Then they would be able to execute the best idea that they came up with and proceed from there. To sum up, critical thinking is when you can investigate, analyze, and critique 
all the different ideas that come towards you, and then you're able to design a plan to execute. Positive personal and cultural identity is when you understand who you are, where you're from, and how you fit into this world. It also involves identifying positive personal strengths and weaknesses, and also realizing that everything you do will affect you it will affect how you are as a unique individual. The positive personal and cultural identity competency allows a student not only to reflect the positive values and choices of oneself, but also their values and choices within the context of their cultural identity. How do they fit in into this world? What are their strengths and weaknesses? They're able to assess their personal strengths and their abilities. They can also understand how culture affects their identity. They answer the question, how am I related to this world? Personal responsibility is when you know who you are as a person and how you can relate to the world around you. For my definition, it is being responsible for what you got and connecting with people other than you. Yes! <laughs> got it. The personal awareness and responsibility competency has students being able to reflect about their emotions, manage their behavior, and even the ability to set goals. They're able to answer questions like, how did I get here? Or even answer, how do I get from here to there? Which would include setting goals academically, personally, and socially. They're trying to fit in how they are able to relate to this world. Social responsibility is when you are respectful of other people around you. And help the environment and understand that other people are different from you. The Social Responsibility Core Competency allows a student to contribute to their community by caring for the environment or volunteering in many ways. They also value collaborating as they solve problems in very peaceful ways and have many conflict resolution strategies. They also value diversity and the differences of people. And they do enjoy building relationship among people who are different from them. They answer the question, how can I build my relationship in the world? Achievement level 1-2 means that you still need a lot of help from your teacher. Achievement level 3 and 4 means that you can do a little bit of independent, but you still need a little bit of teacher's help. Achievement level 5-6 means that you're doing great. You don't need any teacher's help and you can do all the work by yourself. Achievement level 7 and 8 means that you're doing everything that is asked and going, going above and beyond. My favorite part of Division 3 was doing photography and doing the pegboards because I like to take photos and I liked working in groups with other people. And I like taking pretty pictures. Things that I've enjoyed this year is making my own planet and social studies and making my own story in LA. I also feel that I'm still a part of the class even though I'm online. I love everything and Mr. Nicanor's philosophy. I love that he makes me do my walk. And one of the favorite part of Mr. Nicanor's class is that we can hear Mr. Nicanor's fun jokes. Some of them are fun, but some of them are dad jokes. So we gotta laugh to make him feel good. One of my personal favorite quotes that Mr. Nicanor has said to us in this class is, it's not what you have done in the past that defines you, it's what you do next. Before I met Mr. Nicono, I was wandering through school, barely learning anything from rare to lid. I went from rare to rare. But then when I met Mr. Nicono, everything changed. He motivated me and he pressured me to walk and I loved it. Hey mom, hope you're proud of me. Thanks for coming to the celebration of learning. Love you. 엄마, 난 엄마가 이걸 봐줘서 고맙고, 엄마가 여기 와줘서도 고마워. 엄마가 날 내가 내가 자랑스럽길 바라고. 그 다음에 사랑해. 마마, 빠빠, 시신님을 날 칸워 더 celebration of learning. Thanks for watching our celebration of learning. Hi everyone, thank, thank you for coming to celebration of learning. <laughs> One of the memorable quotes that Mr. Nikino told us is, you don't have to be the best. You just have to be, have, have to be, have better than yesterday. yesterday.